beginning at the 28th verse. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. I thirst. Those two small words might be the shortest saying that he has on the cross, I thirst. You know, when you think about thirst, uh, it's a condition of the body. Yes, sir. Condition of the body that may be due to dehydration, but it causes a particular longing in your mouth and in your throat, a dryness, and you eat something. I thirst. Amen. You know, you think of thirsting, uh, there's certain degrees of it, and it's like an exasperation that you go through, and sometimes you got to go through something before you thirst. All right. All right. You know, I think about Jesus on the cross and being whipped and nails in his feet, nails in his hands, and crown of thorns in his head, and just going through that exasperation, and he cries out, I thirst. Yeah. And I, I thought about that, and I, I looked into it, and I know in Psalms, and in Psalms 22, and in Psalms 69, they have those same words where it talks about, I thirst, and some theologians say it's a precursor to the suffering servant, the ultimate suffering servant. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I continued to look at it and I, I said, I'm hard pressed to find in the scripture where Christ makes a complaint. I'm hard pressed to find in the scripture a buck for when he's hanging on that cross that through his lifetime that he cried out for something for himself. Right, you know, I think about when he was healing the others and healing the blind man and healing the paralytic and teaching his disciples, but yet through all of it, even when he got tired, he didn't talk about it. The scripture talks about when he was by Jacob's well, he was tired, but he never let out any type of complaint about himself. So I, I said, I looked at this and I said, well, here he is on the cross when he's saying, I thirst. When does that exactly fit in? I know he's gone through the exasperation. I know that he was gone without any fluid for a while, but yet he cries out and thinking of himself at this point, saying, I thirst. And I know we have the last word where it says, My God, why is thou forsaking me? And I know when he was in the when he was praying and right before he went to the cross, he talks about, if it be thy will, I'll go through it, but if possible, let this cup pass for me. But you're hard pressed to find through his walk where he makes a complaint and cry out for something for itself. Right. Right. So I looked at this and it says, I thirst. So I said, maybe I got to go back a little bit at the beginning of the scripture. Mm -hmm. And at the beginning of the scripture, it says, after this, uh -huh. after this. Jesus knowing that all things were now accomplished, after this. When I read right after this, I said, is it after that he just entrusted his mother to the disciples? Is it after he did all his healings? Is it after he was teaching the disciples? And, you know, I thought about that, the exasperation and the cry about our thirst, and it says after this. And I thought about, you know, some of us, in going through life and on this walk and on this journey, Sometimes we don't walk a mile before we exasperated and saying I'm thirsty. <laughs> Sometimes we don't just go, we don't go through a little bit and we're thirsty, we exasperate. Right. But here is our Savior on the cross. He cries our thirst after all of this. After this, Jesus knowing that all things were now accomplished. So I thought about it, how can we gain something from this? He didn't thirst until after this. What is your after this? Yes, yes. He didn't thirst until he went through something. He didn't thirst. He wasn't exasperated. He wasn't complaining about things until after it was all over. So I thought about that thing and I said that maybe in our walk of life, let us not be choked out by the pressures of this world. Let us not be choked out and be thirsting after things that are not of Christ, but let us think about the mission that we're on and not complain about it, but just take it in stride so that we're only talking about it thirsting and being exasperated after this is all. Well, maybe Christ is teaching us how to go through our walk of life. It was after he did his healings. It was after he was being crucified. It was after he was already trying to explain yeah, to the yeah, disciples that he didn't understand, but he still was patient. Yeah, he didn't yeah. complain about it. Oh, yeah. I think about us in our walk when we're explaining things to others and we're going through our walk of life. 
Do we complain about it or do we take it aside? Right. Do we think about this, these pressures of the world or do we just take it in stride? Well, Are we uh, exasperated before we even get started? Well, mm. After this. Right. After this, knowing that all things were now accomplished. Mm. What is your after this? Yes. Hallelujah. God, I, I pray that God just keep me, keep me on this walking on this journey of life. Amen. That God Amen. keep me and not allow me to complain about this journey of life. Yes. Yes. That God keep me focused on the mission of life. That God keep me focused on the word. That God keep me focused in preaching his word. That God keep me focused in living this life that I live for his will and for his Amen. glory. Right. Lord, allow me not to complain while I'm on this journey of life. Yes. Allow me not to get choked in by my own desires. Yes. Allow me not to get choked in and start thirsting for things that are not of him. Well, allow me to walk this walk and talk this talk as God wants me to do. But let me not stop thirsting until after this. Hallelujah. God, allow me not to thirst yes. until after this. Allow me not to thirst until I walk a little while. Yes. Allow me not to thirst, and if I'm going to thirst, allow me to thirst for your word. Yes. If I'm going to thirst, don't allow it to be an exasperation of life, but allow it to be a hunger of life. Yes. Allow it to be a hunger for your word, a hunger for your mission. Yes. 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 God is teaching us not to thirst right now. Yes. You don't have to walk away saying, don't let me thirst until after this. Yes. Don't let me thirst until after I've done the work for you. Yes. Don't allow me to be exasperated in this life. Allow me to think about the cares of this life until I'm on this mission for you and I've reached the end. Yes. Allow me to take this word with patience. Allow me to take this walk with patience. All right. God, allow me to walk with patience. Yes. Allow me to walk with diligence. Yes. Allow me to walk with your love. Allow me to give your love to someone else. And not just think about my own desires. Don't thirst until after this. Don't thirst until after this.